Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Thiri Niukai. I'm a master's student of dermatology from Mephalon University, Thailand. Today, I would like to present about my research, which is a comparative study of the efficacy of 3% Glycemax Extract Cream versus 2% Alpha Arbutin Cream in facial skin whitening in Thais. First of all, white skin is very popular nowadays in Asia, so they try so many ways to get the skin white. We can classify the skin color with Fitzpatrick Petri Skill, which has type 1 to type 6. Type 1 is the lightest and type 6 is the darkest. So there are so many causes of the skin pigmentation like UV radiation, medication, hormonal imbalance, and so on. There are two types of the human skin color, which is consecutive skin color known as genetic and facultative skin color, which is due to the external factors like UV radiations and drugs. Melanogenesis is the production of the melanin and transportation of the melanin to the surrounding keratinocytes. So any agents that can interfere with the process of the melanogenesis can be used as a whitening agents. Uh, to classify the whitening agents, there are chemical agents and physical therapies. Hydroquinone is a standard chemical whitening agent, but uh, the use of hydroquinone is limited nowadays because of its uh, long-term side effects. Uh, in this research, uh, I will use uh, abutin as a standard cream. So abutin is a naturally occurring derivative of the hydroquinone and it is a tyrosinase inhibitor. As the, in the speaking of a uh, tyrosinase inhibitor, tyrosinase enzyme is a key enzyme in the melanogenesis. So we try to uh, research about a safer and effective uh, natural ingredients, natural whitening agents. So I will research about the Glycemax extract in facial whitening. Glycemax is a extract of the soybean, which is rich in isoflavones. The active constituents are phenolic acid, isoflavonoids, and soy proteins. There are so many benefits for the skin in Glycemax, like skin lightening effects, elastin and collagen stimulating effects, antioxidant effects, and protection against the UV radiation, anti-inflammatory effects, and anti-carcinogenic effects. Research methodology. Uh, the research question is, does 3% Glycemax extract cream have whitening effect in facial skin more than 2% alpha albutin? Hypothesis is 3% Glycemax extract cream has a better efficacy and satisfactory evaluation in facial skin, whitening more than 2% alpha albutin. The objective is to study the efficacy and satisfactory evaluation of the 3% Glycemax extract cream for facial whitening in ties. Specific objective uh, as a primary outcome to compare the whitening effect in facial skin between 3% Glycemax and 2% alpha albutin creams. Secondary outcomes, to observe the adverse effects of the 3% Glycemax extract for facial skin whitening, to evaluate the participate uh, satisfaction between 3% Glycemax extract cream and 2% alpha albutin cream. As the, concept, as the conceptual framework, Glycemax can inhibit the activation of the PR2 receptor and subsequent blockage of the transfer of melanosome to the carotinocyte and result in skin whitening. On the other hand, glycemax can prevent the skin from UV-induced pigmentation and result in skin whitening. Uh, the study design is comparative double-blind randomized control and split-phase clinical trial. In study population, there are 20 Thai volunteers of four genders, aged between 20 to 60 years old with Fitzpatrick skin type 3 to 6, who are diagnosed by dermatologists who wanted to widen their skin, facial skin at the Mayfellow University Hospital, Bangkok, and who match with all inclusion criteria. As we calculate the sample size, we got 20 subjects to be uh, registered. For the subject selection, the inclusion criteria are 20 to 60 years old, Thai male and female with face better skin type, three to four or uh, six diagnosed by dermatologists uh, who agreed to apply 3% glycemax cream and 2% alpha albutin cream on each side of their faces and who can come for a follow up three consecutive months. The exclusion criteria are any ablative or non-ablative procedure on the face and any use of the facial skin whitening agents or treatment uh, during the uh, treatment research period and use of hormones or any medication which can interfere with the melanogenesis or an open wound or active inflammatory skin disease in the face during the treatment period. We use 3% glycemax extract cream and 2% alpha-abutene cream 
Bezier complexions analysis system, maximeter, and some other record forms as an equipment. The step of the research is we select the subjects according to the inclusion and exclusion criteria and get the informed consent from them. And we do the history taking and patch test to know if alleged to any of the cream. And photo taking with the Vizier complexion analysis system, randomization and instruct uh, to the volunteers how to apply the cream. And then finally, we uh, record the data and analyzes the data. For the data analysis, uh, the records from the subjects are keep uh, in the dermatology clinic of the Mephala University. We demonstrate the general demographic data with descriptive statistical analysis like means, percentage, and standard deviation. Uh, we use the repetitive ANOVA test for mean melanin index and Fisher exact test for evaluation of the treatment by three dermatologists at both eight and 12 week. Magnema test was used for volunteer satisfactory score in on the 12 week and side effects are recorded. Melanie index. Uh, it is found that the melanie index at the total area of the 2% alpha abutin has a little bit lower than mean melanie index at the total area of 3% glycine mass cream at fourth, eight and 12 week. For the dermatologist's evaluation school, there is no statistically significant difference in all visits. For, as for the patient satisfaction score, there's also not a statistically significant difference. Conclusion of the research is both 3% and 3% glycemax and 2% FR abutin cream show a significant reduction in melanin index after 12 weeks of the application. So we concluded that 3% Glycemas extra cream and 2% FR abutin cream are effective in facial skin whitening. And the mean melanin index at the total area of the 3% glycemas extra cream was not statistically different when compared with the 2% FR abutin cream at the fourth, eight, and 12 week. So 3% glycemas cream is assumed as effective as 2% alpha abutin cream in facial skin whitening. And there is no irritations or side effects is seen during the during or after the treatment. Uh, as a discussion, uh, there are some limitation factors like uh, volunteers cannot strictly um, obey the re regulations, like rules and regulations, like avoid the sunlight exposure and using the sunscreen. And also the time limitation of the research, we cannot investigate the long-term effect of the bull cream. So more study is still needed to discover the long-term side effects and also whether the pigmentation came back or not after the cream is stopped. So this is all about my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention.